And according to AAA, an average of 23 tow operators are killed each year while working on the roadsides, with one service provider being killed on the job on average uh, every other week. So Nevada's move over law is aimed at preventing this from happening in the state. Nevada Office of Traffic Safety Public Information Officer Andrew Bennett now joining us live to talk about this and more. Andrew, thanks for being with us again this morning. Yeah, uh, Nevada's had this move over law for what, 18 years. So, so what exactly does it mean uh, for drivers? What do they have to do? This law has continued to uh, be improved as we go through the different legislative sessions. And we're now at the point where if a, any vehicle that's on the side of the road with flashing lights, so something as large as a fire truck or something as small as a civilian sedan with its four way hazards on, Nevada law requires you to move over and slow down. And that's basically the law in all 50 states. So there's really no excuse to understand and to implement that into your daily driving habits. Okay, so if it's busy, you got another driver just on the other side of you, you can't move over. You should at least slow down or stop or what? No, we definitely want you to slow down. And we understand that, especially now that traffic is coming back onto our roadways, that you might not have that empty lane to your left, uh, but you are required to slow down uh, below the posted speed limit is the law. Uh, again, do what is safe and practical and understand that there is a human life sitting there on the side of the road, you know, working, and it's an extremely dangerous working environment. So give them a break and do what you can. Just be very cautious. All right, you also have a reminder for those drivers uh, who did hit someone and then decide to run. Yeah, and unfortunately, with this case that happened on uh, Tuesday evening, there was a lot that went wrong. Number one, failure to move over. And number two, someone fled. And there's language that I can't use on TV to describe what I feel with people that flee. And it's something where you have a responsibility to render aid and to call 911 after a crash. We've had way too many of these incidences over the last several days. Uh, we had three within a four day period. And it's important to know all three were caught. All three will be prosecuted to the full extent of, extent of the law. And you're not going to get away with it. We need you to remain on scene and have some accountability, responsibility and respect for life. OK, and you just mentioned the streets are, are getting busier. Uh, some Valley residents complaining now of street racing. Uh, that's not good. No, and unfortunately, it's, it's something that we saw throughout the pandemic months and we're still seeing, uh, you know, as recently as last weekend. And so it's important to know that it is a gross misdemeanor to participate, facilitate or spectate uh, in a, a, a sideshow or a street racing activity. And so we really need uh, the public's participation. Please call 911 or start an HP to report any of those activities. Uh, all of our local law enforcement agencies are working together to be able to respond to these and to uh, enforce the law. And real quickly, just in general, it's getting warmer, more people outside, uh, COVID's kind of going away. So we're gonna see more activity on the roads anyway, aren't we? Correct, and it, it, you know, with, with more activity comes more traffic. Uh, allow extra time and uh, make sure that you have the ability to uh, uh, get there safely. Yep. All right, Andrew Bennett from the Office of Traffic Safety. Thanks as always uh, for your help. Uh, thanks on so much, issues. Dave. All right, we'll be right back.